Hi everyone, in front of me I've got a Redmi Note 13 Pro Plus and let me share with you how to enable the Google Backup on this device. So let's start with opening the settings and here we have to scroll in order to find the um, the, 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 the about phone. So we do not have to scroll down. Uh, right here let's enter backup and restore. And here we've got the Google Backup section, so let's simply tap on Backup. Let's tap on Add Account and make sure that we've got the internet connection because it is required. Right here in this step, we can either create a new account or enter your current email or phone. So, so let me do it. And tap on Next. Right here we have to enter the password, so let me do this out of the screen. Okay, let's tap on next. It's up to you whether you want to use it. I don't want to uh, right now. And so here we can check the Google Terms of Service and Privacy Policy. Just tap on it and you will be able to read it. Let's tap on I agree after reading, of course. And here we've got the information about the backup. So we are able to use 15 gigabytes of the Google account to backup apps and, uh, and data, call history, contacts, device settings, and text messages. Of course, your device will backup the data automatically, store it securely, and you can manage it whenever you want to. So just tap on turn on. And, and there we've got another backup section. So we can check how much space we've got left. We can manage the storage. So for example, remove some unnecessary files. Um, here we've got the backup details. So we can check what has already been backed up and the advanced settings. And I highly recommend to keep this option turned off so we can avoid some charges. So to finish everything, just tap on backup now. And from now on, your device will back up the data. All right, so that will be all. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that this video was helpful and if it was, please hit the subscribe button and leave the thumbs up.